uh, hi hello and uh, welcome to my youtube channel so in today's session i'm going to uh, tell you like how we can update our configuration manager from 1902 to 2002 directly uh, once you install that 1902 after that uh, you have to check on this up you have to go here administration and then you can see here under that uh, updates and servicing uh, you should be able to see this configuration manager 2002 if you are not able to see then you have you can just uh, click on this check for updates and it should uh, see you you will be able to see that uh, configuration manager 2002 here so once you uh, see that after that you have to uh, just click on uh, this one run prerequisite check so that uh, we can be able to see that what's uh, what all uh, things are required and uh, if anything uh, not installed on my server then we can install it before uh, running it actually so i've already started this uh, prerequisites checking prerequisites we can see the status here under updates and services servicing under the monitoring tab so this is the update we can see the status so currently it's in the replication stage it's replicating data updating the content library so we have to wait for it because so many things are there so it should take some time let's wait i'm just uh, pausing it and once this uh, will be completed i'll be back okay so let's check if uh, our prerequisites check has been completed or not <clears throat> so as we can see that it's completed with but, uh, but with some warnings so let's check a uh, what all warning we got so almost uh, everything is completed yeah one warning is there that is uh, sql server native client version so that we can uh, just ignore that uh, warning so other than that uh, it's fine we can go ahead with the installation part so for installation we have to go again to the administration update and servicing and we have to select this update and install update pack so once we do that we can just ignore that one warning which we have got uh, while doing that uh, prerequisite check so we can just uh, we don't need to well, yeah. yeah we don't require that other than that it's fine bit locker management because I'm not installed in my environment so we can ignore that or we can uh, we don't need to select that then we can uh, go ahead with upgrade without validating because uh, it's a lab version so we don't need to validate this just accept this Click next next and It should be completed soon because it's not a big uh, you can say update uh, let's wait for another four five minutes okay um yeah so update has been completed so we can just close it and we can refresh it still it's installing so we can we have to check the status from the monitoring tab
so in monitoring tab it's saying that currently it's content replication succeeded on that show status so showing that installation is still in progress it takes some time It will take some more time uh, I'm just pausing this video and once this completed I'll uh, show you uh, let's wait for 15 minutes uh, for that time so that uh, your time should not be wasted here so I'm just pausing this video okay so let's check if installation has been completed yes as we can see that uh, installation and post installation completed without any error so we can close this status uh, now we can go ahead and uh, in the administration tab we can see this installed as we can see here okay. and you can see that new version is available of console that we can install now so that installation has taken around uh, half an hour for installing this new setup uh, it's not a big setup so that's why it has taken uh, 30 to 35 minutes for installing the whole setup so now uh, it's console installation uh, it should also take some 5 to 10 minutes maximum Okay, so installation of console also completed now and also one more thing I just want to show you this uh, this is the cm update.log uh, which you can check for uh, installing uh, this uh, once you start installation from the in installation to the completion you can check everything here in this log cm update.log as you can see that uh, all logs are of today's date so once this completed, we can check in the administration tab, click on services. So this is installed now. And we can see the features as well in this new version. So all these new features have been released uh, on this new version. So now, uh, yeah, it's good. We are now up to date and uh, we can do whatever we want to do in our new environment. So thank you for watching my video and uh, hope uh, you all are well. Yeah, so please like, subscribe and share my, this, uh, my video so that uh, other can also see this and upgrade their environment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.